before we can start writing any JavaScript code, we need to have a basic conceptual understanding of where this code is running. So in this video, I'm going to be introducing the browser as the environment in which our code runs. What is a browser and what does it do? The 1993 version of a browser is an application on your computer that displays HTML documents from the internet. So it means you can visit websites and these websites in the 90s looked like this or maybe like this. And these are very simple HTML pages that just have a bunch of text and images. And a browser is also capable of displaying an HTML document that is on your own computer. So not necessarily just from the internet. In this course, the starter code that we're going to use includes an HTML page that we're going to load into the browser before we can start running JavaScript. So the first basic conceptual parts are the HTML file that we're going to have on our computer and the Chrome browser. When we load the HTML file into the browser, it displays the contents in the screen of the browser. Let's download the starter code files and take a look at the HTML file that comes with them. I have opened the Software Engineering 101 Gitbook, and I'm going to navigate to the What is a Browser section. If I scroll down, there's a link where I can download the set of compressed files. So I'm going to click on this and go to the folder where it got downloaded. I'm going to unzip these files uh, inside of my Software Engineering 101 folder where I keep all my code. So I'm going to move this file and unzip it. So now I have a folder and if I look inside, I can see all the starter code files. Let's make a simple edit to this index.html file so we can see the changes in the browser. I'm going to open up this entire folder inside of VS Code. I'm going to do that by opening VS Code and dragging the whole folder into the VS Code window. So now I can see all the files in this folder. I'm going to select the index.html file and make a single edit. Here on line 31, I'm going to make some changes and make sure I save the file and go back to the browser and hit the refresh button to see my changes. Now we've seen the 1993 version of the browser that loads HTML pages from the internet or from starter code files that we have saved on our computer. The 2020 version of the browser is exactly the same, except that once the page loads, uh, we can start using JavaScript to enhance the functionalities of that page. And this is how uh, pages like Gmail or YouTube or Spotify work, um, where you can write emails, you can watch videos, you can listen to music in a much more dynamic way than you could uh, in the 90s. When we use our starter code files, the same thing is going to happen where we load our HTML file into the browser and at that point, the JavaScript environment becomes available to us to begin running our JavaScript code.